Hey guys, so today we're going to learn about Gulp.js. We're going to start off by giving a high level overview of what Gulp.js is and what it can be used for. And then we're going to go into a coding example. So feel free to just skip to the code if that's all you're interested in. But we're going to start off by talking about what Gulp.js is. It's a JavaScript task runner that allows you to automate tedious tasks during the development cycle. So any tasks that are tedious that you have to carry out over and over again as you're developing your application, you can use Gulp to carry out these. For example, bundling and minifying libraries, refreshing your browser after files are saved, compilation, and running unit tests every time that a file is saved. This is just from the Gulp documentation. It says that it's a toolkit for automating painful or time-consuming tasks in your development workflow. So you can stop messing around and build something. So the Gulp workflow involves three main steps. First of all, you have to define the task you want to accomplish. Then you have to load the files to be processed into the Gulp stream. And once files are in the stream, modifi modifications can be made. Once this is done, you can send the new files to a specified location. And we can see here in this example that first of all, we define our task. We're saying this task is called JS. We're calling these functions on the Gulp object and as you can see, the first thing we're doing is defining the source. So we're using any JavaScript files in this directory. And as you can see, this is what we say we're doing in step two. We're loading the files into the Gulp stream. Once files are in the stream, we make modifications. And this is what Uglify is doing. This is basically just minifying our JavaScript files. And then the last thing is we're providing a destination. We're saying we want to bring these modified files over to this directory. So this is our three steps. So now that we've went through what Gulp.js is, we're going to give a real world example. We have this project set up, and if you want to use the same dependencies as I'm using, then feel free to pause the video and install these dependencies. By the way, um, we have Gulp installed locally in our project, um, but we also need to have it installed globally. So to do this, we run npm install dash g gulp and you may need to provide a sudo command at the start give our password and gulp has been installed globally and then we just want to install our dev dependencies using npm install so this is our package json file another important file is index.html and as you can see, we just have this HTML file loaded in the browser here. Uh, and from there, we have a source file containing one JavaScript file and one style.scss file. So looking at our Gulp file, we can see we already have one Gulp task defined. Um, and this Gulp task is called SAS. And as you can see, it's using the source file with scss and we're basically compressing this SAS file and converting it into CSS and renaming it with .min. And then we're piping this into our destination. And we don't need to worry about this yet, um, but this is basically going to automatically refresh the browser for us whenever this task is run later on. So if we want to run this gulp task, we basically use the command gulp sas. As you can see, it was finished, and this dist folder was actually created for us automatically. As you can see, uh, it's basically minified our style and converted it from SAS into CSS. So the next thing we're going to do is define our JS task. And this JS task is basically going to uglify our JavaScript wrote in this file. Going back to the Gulf file. Uh, the same as before, this is basically the same as the example. We're uglifying it, providing the destination. So to run this task, we're going to save the file and run gulp.js. And if we go inside our dist folder, now you can see we also have this JavaScript file. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is define our default gulp task. And this default gulp task is useful because if we just run the command gulp, 
this is going to run the default task automatically and we are saying that whenever we use default we are going to carry out two tasks so we're going to carry out the sas task and the js task and series is just defining that there's more than one we need to carry out so as you can see we're going to carry out sas and js if we run gulp you can see that these were carried out um, by the way in our html file we're now going to include this style sheet and the javascript file from inside the this directory that's being built so if we refresh the browser we can see that it's now using uh, the new style um, and if we go back to this scss file and we change the background to blue and hit save and run our gulp task again this is going to build this um, and the new css file should show this yeah and if we refresh the browser uh, we get this update so let's just change this back and run the default gulp task again cool so the next thing we're going to look at is watching um, so this is basically going to watch these files as this task is running and if any changes are made it's going to run these tasks and it would also automatically uh, update the browser refresh the browser so let's see what this looks like so if we run gulp watch scss js and uh, we just save it keep forgetting to do that uh, we can see that it's now watching and this is showing us that this process didn't actually finish so it's still running uh, which is what we want because it's going to constantly watch these files if we edit this style file again and change this to red uh, you can see that this was automatically carried out um, and we can refresh so this is really nice we can also change the javascript file uh, to console log the world and if we refresh we see that this update was built and we get it straight away so that's really cool the next thing we're going to do is add in our serve task and this serve task will basically provide us with a development server um, and we can basically build and reload the browser whenever any changes are made and this is really useful so if we stop the other task that was running with control c and run gulp serve we can see that we're now serving files from localhost 3000 so if we head over to localhost 3000 we can see that we're now getting the same page um, but this is now being served from our server so if we go back to style.scss change this back to gray hit save we can see that our browser refreshed automatically itself and this is super useful during the development process and um, so basically any changes that we make now in these files and whenever we save them these will automatically be refreshed in the browser which is super cool so for example if i change this h1 to green and hit save you can see that we get this update straight away cool so what else can we do with gulp so far all of the stuff that we've done have been to do with web development but gulp is about more than just that so we can use gulp to carry out tdd which is super useful because whenever you're writing tests you want to be able to continuously run run these tests um, during test driven development so here we've created a new task called test and another task called test watch and test watch is just watching these files and if there are any changes it's going to run the task test which is basically using mocha uh, to run unit tests so if we stop this task and run gulp test watch 
we can see that it's now watching these files and I'll just close these so you guys can see so we have this fizzbuzz file and we also have this test file so if I uh, open up split this and we have fizzbuzz.js here so this is our test file and this is the file we're testing so if I hit save you can see that our unit tests are going to run and at the minute we just have one test the rest are commented out um, but if I comment out these and hit run again or hit save you can see that in real time now without needing to run our tests they automatically ran and we're now getting an error so we can see this test is failing because multiples of five should uh, return buzz instead of fizz so to fix this we're going to say if num modulus 5 equals 0 we want to return buzz if we save this uh, we can see that now all three of our tests are passing and this is the way that you would do test driven development you'd first of all write your tests and then you would make the changes to the files that are being tested until you make the tests pass and you do this continuously until the feature is built. Gulp is making this so much easier for us by automatically running the tests every time that files are saved. So thanks for watching this tutorial on Gulp.js. Hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask and I'll see you next time.